Hello everybody, in this video we're going to work on the next Corel app, Corel 2B. Let's get going! Alright, so here's what the program run looks like. It's going to look a lot like the previous one, except rotated by 45 degrees. Alright, this part's the same, so I'm going to zoom through it. You're going to log into your Scratch account. You're going to copy and paste the link into the browser. Link is in the description below. You're going to click Remix. Here are the instructions. This is the video you're watching right now. This is our instructions for the Remix, but you've already done that. Rename your project to put your name into it and then save. Once again, we'll click the green flag to see what we're doing. Looks like we're picking up all the beepers one more time using only my blocks and the repeat. So once again, we'll make a turn right block because there is no turn right block. Once again, when we make a custom block, we want to be sure to test that block. We test the block, it turns right. We're happy. We can move it out of the way out of what we see so it's not distracting us. Once again, the custom blocks are an example of abstraction where you are replacing something long with something short, basically simplifying your code and making it more readable at the same time. There are a lot of ways you can solve this problem. They'll all give you full points as long as you pick up all the beepers. The first is a spiral pattern from the inside out. You start up and then you go down and then you go back up, collecting all the beepers from the inside out. You can also do a sort of a spiral pattern from the outside in. But the most efficient with respect to your code anyway is if you go diagonally so you can reuse the same code every time you do a row. This is a lot like Corel 2A except it's shifted by 45 degrees. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to make a custom block row to pick up those beepers. This is super sped up. Here I made a mistake. It's actually four beepers, not five beepers. So I'll fix that. And the basic idea is that I'm going to pick up a row, move it to the correct orientation in the next row and then rerun the row custom block. So I'll check it out now. The auto grading part is all the same. I'm going to click file, save to your computer. I'm going to click save. I'm going to open up the auto grader website. The link is in the description below. I'm going to select the correct lab. I'm going to drag and drop my file in. I'm going to click submit for auto grading and this is my score. Here I've picked up eight beepers, I need to pick up 16 beepers. So if I have a question still, I can click on that link. But I think you can do it. I'll let you finish it off from here. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.